down what you believe doesn't make any sense. You, well, can, lie. you can say whatever you like. You That's the reality. You don't need to convince me. I don't have because to convince you. I like convince you. My, well, it's upon me to convey the message. Do you remember Jesus? He did not convince everyone. Do you remember Jesus had many people that were against him? Doesn't mean Jesus me. was unable to convince the people. I'm not ignorant. Yeah? I know there's one God. The same one you call Allah is the same one we call Allah, Jesus Christ. Okay? No, that, according but to I'm Jesus, the Father is God. According to Jesus, the Father is God. So, Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad is not God. Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet of Allah. Yeah. Now the question. No, no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me, sorry, hear me out. According to Jesus, according to Jesus, who is the true God? Is it Jesus or the Father? According to Jesus. I am listening to you. If you answer my question, please. Okay, I can answer it. According to Jesus. No, no, that is in the Bible. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. Therefore, the God you believe in, go and guess what Jesus believed in. Jesus believed the Father is God. You believe Jesus is God, there's contradiction between you two. You see, we as the Muslims, we believe the same belief as Jesus, that there is only one God who you should worship alone. And that's what we call people to. I just to convey the message. No, there's no fine. No, we're not going to be fine. You keep moving. All right, take care of yourself. The reality is that you are following the footsteps of the, uh, the, the, the enemies of Jesus, those who worship the man. And the Bible said God is not a man. And even rationally, how God is a man when God is uncreated and a man is created? That doesn't make any sense. It's like telling me God exists and does not exist at the same time. That is a paradox. And that's the beauty of Islam. Islam goes with sound reasoning with a natural inclination. Like naturally, intellectually, you know there's a creator who creates beautiful, well-designed creation. And that creator cannot be part of the creation because there will be contradiction because the creator is already outside of the creation. Do you understand that? That's the beauty of Islam. That's why Christianity is dying in the Western world. Remember, you're from Caribbean. Those who brought Christianity to your country are the Europeans. The same people that tried to bring Christianity to my country. Guess what? They left Christianity. Britain, France, Belgium, they abandoned Christianity. Churches are empty. You understand? But we as the Muslims, we're still a Muslim in the Western world, and Islam is spreading in Britain. Alhamdulillah. We're not using no sword, we're not using no knife, we're not using no spoon, nothing. We're just using our mouths. Alhamdulillah. And the people accept Islam. That's the beauty, Alhamdulillah. Yesterday, two people accept, accept Islam. On Friday, two people, and all of them they were Christians. I'm, I like that one, mashallah. You see? Alhamdulillah. And we hope, we hope, inshallah, you become Muslim too. Because, sorry, sorry, because Jesus, Jesus was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. Do you know what it means? It means Jesus himself submit to God. And Islam means to submit to God according to the teaching of God. Jesus was not a Christian. The word Christianity is not in the Bible, nowhere. Jesus never called his followers Christians. That term was given to you by the Romans. That was an insult, yeah. Yeah, but alhamdulillah. No, we're not speaking here. Alhamdulillah. And we tell the people, there's something I want to speak about. We should not be blind followers of society. Doesn't mean because society are doing something, we should follow them. I was speaking to the one lady yesterday. She went to LGBTQ a pride or whatever they call it. I said to her, so you, are, you support transgender people? She said, yes. I said, okay, imagine you have someone cutting off his forearm because he feels like he's armless. So you want to get rid of his forearm? Would you support him? She said, no. I said, what about who's removing everything? Because he feels it's something else. You see what I'm saying? What's happening now, people become a blind followers of society like sheep. Society are doing it, but Islam teaches you what? Step back and utilize your intellect. I'm not going to blind follow society because it's doing it. I'm not going to be violent, but I'm going to step back. Don't be like sheep. So people have mentality, sheep mentality, not Muslims. Some Muslims maybe they've been influenced by the other things, but Islam teaches us to step back and reflect. Allah said, Afala Do they not use their brain? Afala Do they not reflect? Use your intellect. Use your sound reasoning, you know? So it's going crazy these days. A man, he said, there's a man, there, there is a man, he thinks he's a dog. 
<laughs> well, lies on ITV show. He, he said, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a dog, but shot in a human body. Like, come on, man. There's a guy, he thinks it's a vegetable. And there's one woman, she thinks she's blind. Even though clearly she sees. So now, those who support transgender people, are you going to support her for removing her eyes? Because she feels she's blind. No, we're not to use no violence, but Alhamdulillah, we're not going to blind for all our societies. You know, he's a Christian, but he's against me, even though we agree with the same thing. You see, that's true Christianity. The Christians, it, Christianity is dying in the Western world. Instead of trying to help the Christians, they come to attack the Muslims. SubhanAllah. So we have to utilize our brains, our intellect. You know, they say, they say, but they don't harm me, no one. So therefore, if someone stands today in front of us, cutting himself with knives, are we going to leave him? Because he's not harming no one. He's harming himself, or we're going to try to stop him. We're going to try to stop him. So this, this principle of, if it's not harming no one, it's okay. That is a principle of a Satan. It's not a principle of someone who loves good for the people. Because I love good for the people, I will try my best to stop him. You understand? So my brother says, be careful of that, you know, this mentality. As long as it's not harming no one. So if he's going to cut off his head, it's, it's okay. Because he's not harming no one, he's harming himself. That's what I said to one brother. Jamal, did I say to you? I said, imagine someone says, I feel like I'm a headless. So I'm going to cut off my head. Are you going to help him? He said, I support you. That's your right, brother. You know, you're a headless man. Even though clearly you have a head. Go ahead, even though you're headless. Wallah, alhamdulillah for Islam. That's why there's a huge war against Islam. Because the only religion that is standing firm against this nonsense is Islam. And they know that. Alhamdulillah. That's why you see in the, in the park, Christians, atheists, uh, you name, coming together to attack Islam, even though we as a Muslim, you are very weak, because they know Islam is a powerful thing and is from the Almighty Creator. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have my own one, Barakallahu Shukran. The special one for energy is Algerian drink. If you have any question, you can talk. Last year, I was speaking to one of these ladies who support LGBTQ and everything. I said to her, if a man says, I'm going to have intercourse with my own daughter, we're going to use protection. He's not harming no one. Both of them are adults and both of them are free. Are you going to support it? I said, yeah, if they're doing it. Where is your honor? Where is your dignity? Where is your morals? Like she, uh, you know, even a dog, he knows he should not imitate a horse. Even the horse, he knows I should not imitate a dog. Wallahi subhanallah, man. Like I said, we're not, we're not inciting violence, but we speak the truth. Speak the truth, we have to. You know, otherwise you're going to be with people of falsehood. Clarify the truth. And this principle is, a bar, is falsehood. Oh, sorry, sorry. The, the mic's going to be behind. <laughs> Say again? I forgot Christianity, I Christians dying. We talk about more than interest. Forget this Christian man. Christian they gone. The Christians they only attack Islam, even though you know I've noticed Christians either they become a Muslim or atheist. You know, majority of Christians either they leave Christianity completely and the Christians here, instead of trying to help the Christians, what they do, they start attacking Islam. Why are you attacking Islam? Because they know that Islam is the truth. Subhanallah. We don't have to attack Christianity to explain Islam is the truth. I can speak about Islam by itself. Alhamdulillah. The prophecies in the Quran Allah mentioned 1,400 years ago that Satan will inspire mankind to change Allah's creation. That's in the Quran. That is in the Quran. I forget Christianity, but I'll do something else today. Allah mentioned in the Quran 1,400 years ago, Allah will, in, uh, Satan, Satan will incite and inspire people to change Allah's creation. And what's happening now? How man that existed 1,400 years ago prophesied Come with this uh, prophecy, which we can observe it right now in front of our eyes. You don't have to be a Muslim or a Christian or a Hindu to observe what is happening around the world. You can't. You can see it clearly. You don't have to be a Muslim to see it. It's in front of our eyes. You know, it's crazy, subhanAllah, you know. Like, in my, when I was young, I'll tell you this story. When I was young, I was five years old, I thought it was a wolf. Alhamdulillah, my mother, she was not this time. 
She will tell you, hey, don't worry, man. Shamsi, you're a wolf. Let me take you to the psychiatrist to give you some uh, pills to make you wolf. Alhamdulillah. I know that was a nonsense. I understand. My daughter, she was a rabbit. So I'm going to tell her, yeah, my daughter, I have to respect you. Otherwise, I'm going to be bigot. You are a rabbit. Let me take you to the, to the, to the vet to give you some pills to make you a rabbit. Why are you laughing? It's Buddha, isn't it? والله يا اخي اسمع وش راك واش جوين اون في تونس انا تونسي سلفي الحمد لله ما شاء الله وش راك في هذا او بيفور ذا بيفور ذا لا وي غير تو افتر ذا يو سي اني واي لوك اف يو هاف سامثينغ تو سي جست تيل مي لا دوري ام نوت غونا بايت يو ام فيري فريندلي بيرسون يو نو الحمد لله وي هاف ا رايت تو كريتيسايز ايديز جست از ذا اذر بيبل هاف ا رايت تو كريتيسايز اسلام يو نو سو الحمد لله ام نوت ابيوزين ذا لو ام ود ان ذا لو يوتيلايزين ات Likewise, other people try to utilize it to speak bad about Islam. But what I'm saying, bro, we don't have to be blind followers of society. Like literally, you know, it's wrong. But you're blind following because society is okay. No, man. You don't have to go kill anyone. No, 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 don't do that. Don't fight. You know, I always say that in the park. Even with those who oppose us, speak to them respectfully, try to explain to them. That's how we do it. Because why? We love good for the people. We love good for the people, but I don't have to push nothing. I don't have to uh, uh, force no one, but I utilize my sound reasoning. You understand? Our sound reasoning. That's why one of the blessings that Allah. You know, they say, uh, 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 some people say Islam is Angus intellect. No, Islam is, to use intellect correctly, is Islam. You know why? Because anything that harms the intellect in Islam is prohibited. That's why alcohol is prohibited. Drugs is prohibited. Why? Because one of the faculties that the Creator has given us to utilize, you will damage it. Understand? Look, everyone's going this way. Do you know why? Because there's a party there. And how this came about? The Romans, when the Romans want to manipulate the people, they used to create, uh, what do they call it, parts for them. Just to visit the people with alcohol, fornication, while they're doing crazy stuff. You understand? No, our ladies at home. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, they are at home. Wallahi, I'm not here to tell you about the lady Muslim. I want Muslim sisters at home, maybe at work, yeah. maybe outside walking the street. I, I, I'm not asking about our ladies. But our Muslim sisters, I want... Yeah, yeah, they're, they're following Mary's teaching. Yeah, yeah, they're following, the, they're following Mary's teaching, our Muslim sisters. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying you go and guess, but I'm just telling you. Likewise, I'm not saying nothing to you. I'm just stating our Muslim sisters are following the footsteps of Mary to isolate herself and to be uh, 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 worshiping Allah. And she, in Islam, the woman can work Jesus in a place. Christ no. is Lord. Her speak is honor. Stop lying against God. Stop blaspheming against the Lord. Jesus That's why Christianity is dying. Jesus That's why people are living Christianity. You know, I tell you the story, I don't imitate him. I tell you the story. I was, I was in Bush, as you know. Jesus we do. Take him, take him. Take him. Take him. You, you know, you know, you, you know, I was in Bush, Shevet Bush, that was table. And this English lady came to me. She said, I'm not a Muslim, but I like you guys better than other Christians. I said, Why? Because she said, The Christians on the mic just shouting at us, You're going to hell, hell, hell. That's not the way to give that one. I said, but you, mashallah, just stand in. She didn't say, mashallah. She said, you stand in, speaking to people. Of course, we don't love as a tree. We are persons. He said, I love you as a person. Are we a tree? Jesus Christ is the one Excuse me, go to churches that are empty. Go save you. Go save you churches. Anyone has a question? Ask. Don't ask me, where is my Muslim sisters, yeah? Huh? She takes the mickey out of Islam and Muslim. Who? Hyena. Hyena, you said? Yeah, yeah. Hyena. Uh, uh, Hatun, Hatun is doing a big favor for the Muslims. Hatun is doing a big favor for the Muslims. Because any non Muslim who has a sound reasoning and sees how Hatun behaves, he would think, you know what? That I don't want to be with this religion. She's mentally disturbed. You understand? But she's us, she see us here giving dawah, explain what Islam. What Islam is the truth. Brother, you can go with him, Akhi. Wallah, I don't understand him, but love It's a waste of time. The, look, there's a non-Muslim here, they will see. We're just talking peacefully. He's coming shouting. Christianity is dying and he's still coming to us. We have never go with the brother somewhere else, man. I have four churches behind my house. Empty. 
No one is there. That's what I'm saying. It's empty. It's empty. I don't know what Christians are we doing. You know? Wallahi. Alhamdulillah, keep it high. Be khair. Alhamdulillah. You know, you know, one of the prophecies that Prophet Muhammad said, he said, You come a time with interest. Interest, Akhi, leave him, leave him. When interest become, sometimes I don't know who's the fool, the fool or who follows him. Leave the person, ya akhi. Why am I saying to him? Prophet Muhammad prophesied about something that we can observe right now. He said there will come a time when interest become widespread. And what's happening? That's happening right now. Interest is everywhere. Even if you are not involved directly, it will affect your life. Subhanallah. And I mentioned in the Quran, Allah mentioned it will come a time when Satan will inspire people to change Allah's creation. And it's happening right now. Subhanallah. Allah mentioned that 1,400 years ago. So my brothers, I have some books here. This book is very important for the Muslims. Even non-Muslims can read it. No, this is about, about why, why homosexuality is prohibited, prohibited Islam. It's not about Khadija, it's someone else. It's so. Akhir, what is this? Amen. You lie. Look, Christianity. That's Christianity for you. Just screaming. That's why, look, no one take them serious. Huh? Yeah, Majnoon, Majnoon. Hada Majnoon. Hada. Alhamdulillah, there's not a microphone. So this book was written by one of the brothers explain why it's prohibited based upon evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah based upon scientific well-established facts you know subhanallah this is very nice if you want to take one I have to ask you a question who wants one? you want one? to read it who wants one to read this one? this one is good if you're a teacher or parents you should get with this one and read it don't be scared the homo is going to come take you you know, don't be scared. You have to stand up, bro. Well, lie, some Muslims are shook. You have to stand up. Here, take one, okay. Read, especially. You have to read about this stuff. You don't have to. It's not violent. It's not gonna. Here, sister, take one. It's very important, especially our young brothers and sisters. Here, take one. Here, take one. Here, take one. Oh, I'll give it, give it, okay. Because he said, here, take this one. Hey, look, I bribed him. I bribed him. Look, I bribed him. I give him now. Next time, I give you one. And this one about Jesus, you know, in Islam, in Talmud, that book which I give, you should take it because many times we got contact by our by parents asking us, my son is asking this question, and my daughter is asking this question. You should read it. Alhamdulillah, the author clearly, explicitly mentioned this book is not to incite violence against no one, but this book, in accordance to the British law, to express our freedom of speech to criticize ideas. Alhamdulillah. So this book, don't worry, it's not, doesn't have a knife or a gun there. Yeah, you know, you can read it. Uh, yeah, you want to do one? No, uh, You want one? This one? My kids can't play with my Jesus. I don't say what you're talking about. My kids can't play with my Jesus. Your kids can't play with who? With his Jesus. They can't put them in Dali form and anything. My Jesus. My kids I don't know. They put them in Dali form and they play with his Jesus. I don't do what do you mean? What don't say? What you talking about? What's happened to Christians today? Yeah, you want to ask question about Tunisia? Yeah, uh, that's my first question. Are you Tunisian, mashallah? Alhamdulillah.